Brad and Megan feel pride and joy in the arrival of their son, Eamon, and take this opportunity to formally introduce to him to you, their family and friends, and to confirm and bestow upon their son his chosen name. Eamon was born at 12.45am on August 27, a week and a half later than expected at Bendigo Base Hospital. <laughs> Brad supported Megan through the birth and had the honour of telling Megan that they had a little boy and was the first to hold Eamon in his arms. Brad and Megan have undertaken to nurture this child, to love him, provide him with a safe and secure environment, with stimulation and guidance as he plots his own way, course through life. Eamon is an individual and as such his future path will be uniquely his. Brad and, <laughs> Brad and Megan will be there with him throughout to offer him love and support. Brad and Megan want to ensure that their family lives as happy a life as possible. Happiness is a continuous and conscious effort in parenthood, pausing daily to take stock in even the smallest of blessings can change how we approach the demanding life of caretaking. Children are a social responsibility, not just for, sorry, for parents of our own children. He can read off here if he needs. Parents uh, of our own children, but as, an, as aunts and uncles and fam, uh, friends and neighbours in a myriad of way, little ways and by example, we all teachers and mentors. The very first reading is by Lockie and he's going to read Oh the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. He's and he's just trying to find his book. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's on his way right here. Hey. 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 Congratulations, today is your day. You are off to, to great places. You are off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can you can keep, steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know you know what you know. And you <laughs> and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up up and down streets, look them over with care. About some about some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your with your head full of, bra of brain and your shoes full of feet. You're too smart to go down any not so good street. You and you and you may and you may not find any any you'll want you want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener it's opener there in in the wide open air. Out of out of there things can happen. And frequently due the due to people as brainy. And footsie as and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stoop. Just go r right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. Hey. Well done, Lucky. Today we appoint two mentors for Eamon, chosen by his parents. Mark Kennedy and Lisa Morgan. Mentors take a special interest in the ethical, material and moral development of a child. It is a serious responsibility, but one that can be very rewarding. And we now come to this important part of the proceedings where, where I will address this question to the mentors. And he's going to sleep through it. <laughs> <laughs>
They ask that you show him understanding and love and let him know that you will always have a special place. He will always have a special place in your heart. Yes. Are you willing to accept this, accept this responsibility? Elizabeth Stone once wrote, making this decision to have a child is momentous. It is to decide forever to have your heart by walking around outside your body. In human history, there is no deeper connection than that of a baby and his parents. As new parents, Brad and Megan's lives have changed forever. Before they were a couple in love, committed to each other in marriage, now they've become a family with that commitment extending to Eamon. This is now a close and loving family unit. Families are important. The role of parenthood held in high regard. To be responsible for new life strengthens the bond that Brad and Megan share and brings a strong purpose to their lives. I will now ask Colleen to come and read a poem called Reflections of a Family. <laughs> Just like a wedding, hey? <laughs> Reflection of a family. A family is a place to cry and laugh, to vent frustrations, to cry for help, to tease and yell, to be touched and hugged and smiled at. A family is people who care when you're sad, who love you no matter what, who share your triumphs, who don't expect you to be perfect, just growing up with honesty in your decisions. A family is a circle where we learn to make good decisions, where we learn integrity and tableliness, and respect for other people, where we are special, where we listen and are listened to, where we learn the rules of life to prepare ourselves for the world. The world is a place where anything can happen. If we grow up in a loving family, we're ready for the world. Eamon's life and hope for a bright and happy future, I invite you, Brad and Megan, to light this candle, a light representing your wish for a life full of everlasting love. Brad and Megan, in front of your family and friends, do you promise that you will continue to treasure the time you spend together and support each other through the changes in your life? Very good. <laughs> I ask that you make your own personal declaration of commitment and unconditional love to Eamon. Brad, do you promise to protect and provide for Eamon so he may grow up happy and safe? Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> if I have to. Megan, do you promise to encourage his curiosity, courage, and enthusiasm so that he can face life's challenges with resilience and optimism? Brad and Megan chose the name Eamon Tige for their son. A name is very important. It distinguishes us from others and gives us a sense of belonging in our family and community. The name Eamon is of Gaelic origin and means guardian or protector. Qualities that Brad and Megan hope will be close to their son throughout his life. The middle, his middle name, Ty, is, um, is, is in honour of Brad's grandfather on his dad's side. Eamon, you're fast asleep, but your <laughs> name has been chosen with love. We therefore name you Eamon Ty Kennedy. We wish you a long life of happiness in a loving and peaceful world filled with many, many adventures. May, your, may you bring joy to your parents, your family and your friends. I now ask for Ricky to come and read A Child is a Blank Canvas. A child is like a blank canvas. 
on which you may create a painting so beautiful. But let me tell you, and make no mistake, whatever the colours are that you decide to choose, will make this child a winner, or one that may just lose. So as you take that paintbrush to leave your lasting mark, remember that your actions determine this child's fun. Every stroke upon that canvas can never be undone. It will leave a lasting impression as all those marks create one. So make sure, like the canvas, he is painted with colours bright and true, that everyone around here loves him and guides him as if they were you. It is all our responsibility to love and protect this child, to help him grow as best he can. No dark colours, no grim image here. We want to paint a picture that jumps right out of that page. We want to create a person who is shielded from our mistakes. And if we strive for perfection, we've done our very best to create a beautiful masterpiece who will surely stand out from the rest. So today is your day. And we say to you, Few words for Eamon. I got it all, Megan, if you want it. 